Hi guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about 10 everyday fragrances that I think are fantastic. You can call them grab and go perfumes or dumb reaches, but just these are the ones that I think are great for every day. I have 10 here, they range in all different price points, but I'll be starting off with the uh, more affordable ones and then working my way up to the more expensive ones. So let's just begin here. As you can see, I have a bottle sitting here of CK1 by Calvin Klein. This is a fragrance that basically to me smells like the 90s. It is the fragrance that my first crush slash first kiss boy wore. So it's kind of a nostalgic thing for me, but I still think that after all these years, it is just one of the best easy to wear perfumes that kind of have just stood the test of time. So this is a fresh, clean, musky scent. There's a lot of things in here. There's a lot of notes. <laughs> there's uh, citruses, there's green notes, florals, woody notes. Um, yeah, it's just a big range of stuff and altogether it just comes off as a great fresh, clean, musky, fresh out of the shower scent that um, I don't really get sick of this fragrance. <laughs> of course, it has sentimental value to me, but uh, even if it didn't, I still think it's a great cheapy fragrance that anyone can wear and pull off and probably won't get tired of wearing it. So that's CK1 by Calvin Klein. Next up here is a fragrance that I have recently picked up and I've been wearing it a lot lately. So <laughs> this is just a small 20 mil bottle of H&M Pear and um, yeah this doesn't last very long you guys but <laughs> for the little time that it does last it's such a fun fragrance so basically this smells pretty much exactly like the green jo Jolly Ranch candies the hard candies it's kind of well it says pear yeah it smells like pear but it also smells like green apple as well so like a combination of the two and I just love the scent of the Jolly Ranchers, the green ones, like those are my favorite kinds. Um, whenever I, I've had Jolly Ranchers, I always um, prefer the green ones. So to me, that's exactly what this smells like. So if you like that scent, you would probably like this. This was like 20% off of $5.99. So it was like four euros or something like that for something. So it's a great deal. Again, it doesn't last very long, but who cares? It was just like a few bucks and it's great. <laughs> it's a great fun pick me up everyday perfume that you would probably have to reapply often but um, for that green jolly rancher kind of scent for me it's definitely worth it. So the next one here is a discontinued perfume but I think it's fantastic you guys. So I've talked about this fragrance before on my channel Anything that I have reviewed from the ones that I'll be talking about today, I'll leave it down in the description box for you if you want to hear more about it. But this is Le, Le Couvent de Minimis Eau de Missions Cologne. This is basically a dupe of Spiritus du Bovigny by Guerlain. Yeah, you guys, this is fantastic. It doesn't last as long. It's not as complex. It's not as nice as the SDV. Um, but it's quite close. It has this smoky, benzoin, resinous type of vanilla going on in here. And um, if you can find this for a good price, it would be a great one to pick up. And you can see here, I have like a huge bottle of it. Honestly, I used to own... <laughs> you guys are going to find this funny. I used to own two humongous 500 mil bottles of this. Um... I let them go and after I let them go, because I just thought it was overkill, you know, it was early on in my in my journey. Um, I let them go and then after I let them go, I kept on asking myself, why did I let it go? It's perfect. I mean, you can, I had so much of it. I could spray my curtains at home. I can spray my bed sheets. I can spray myself and smell fantastic. So anyways, this was a gift from Andrew. He didn't he didn't fall in love with this one. He also owns the SDV. So he gave me this one and um, yeah, it's a great alternative to SDV. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of floating around where I live in the Netherlands, even though it's discontinued. And if you do find it for a great price, like I've seen 
you know big bottles like this for like 20 euros um, then yeah I think it's worth it but um, of course uh, if I had to choose between this or STV I would choose STV um, and it would save the save up the extra money for it but this is a great alternative for sure so that's Le Couvent de Minimis Eau de Missions Cologne Okay, so next up we have two fragrances here that I've talked a lot about on my channel. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. So these ones, you guys, I know it's a love it or hate it scent. Some of you guys out there are like, what is the deal with light blue? <laughs> I guess it's just a chemistry thing, but that pretty much goes with any fragrance out there. Um, but on me, it smells absolutely fantastic. It's a fresh, lemony, zesty, woody, sparkling, musky scent. It's like the perfect everyday scent that it just smells fabulous you guys you can wear it year round it just it's just a scent that makes me happy it was a big part of my fragrance journey <laughs> I have gone through several bottles of this one I like this one a lot too because they amped up the lemon in the Italian zest and made it more creamier than the, than the lemon in here but you know you can't go wrong with both of them they're really really great and yeah it's also sentimental to me so this is a fragrance that I can't not see myself owning ever. Like I'll probably, it will be one that I'll be repurchasing a lot because it just gives me those feel good vibes. And it's just like the perfect everyday scent in my opinion. Well, both of these are. Okay, so next up we have a fragrance from Prada. This is Prada Candy Low. This is a fragrance that is one of my most worn for this year and the end of around the end of last year. I'm not sure if this is discontinued. I have heard different things, but I really enjoy this version of Prada Candy. Um, it doesn't last long, you guys. <laughs> the, the original Prada Candy reformulated version didn't last long on me either. So kind of disappointing if you look at it that way but if we're just talking about the scent itself it's beautiful this is obviously a caramel vanilla scent this one is a lot more watery though <laughs> low <laughs> that uh, gives it away um, but it's just a more transparent version of the original Prada candy which is very popular but um, I guess maybe sometimes some people might find the original Prada candy to be too thick for really, really hot weather. I'm not really sure because I find that caramel in there to be uh, somewhat transparent. But in this one, Prada Candy Low, it's even more transparent. So I probably, I can see myself finishing this bottle this year. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm really enjoying this one. It's great for every day. It's sweet and not too sweet. And um, something I don't mind reapplying throughout the day. So yeah, that's Prada Candy Low. Okay, so next up here is a fragrance that I've talked quite a lot about on my channel in the past. This is a flanker of, of Angel, Mugler Angel. And this is the Eau Sucre version. I believe this is 2017 version. I'm not sure exactly. It has the old logo here, the Thierry Mugler here, and it's Eau de Toilette. Anyways, this is a fantastic version of Angel where it's very creamy and very fruity with the red berries in here. It just literally smells like a red berry creamy sorbet or dessert type of thing. Um, the, the patchouli in here is not prominent at all as it is in the regular angel so that's why I find this version to be a lot easier to wear but yeah I just love this fragrance you guys is it discontinued I don't know I hope it's not I absolutely love it but yeah it's it's fantastic for just every day year round all types of weather all types of, of occasions and um I love I love the bottle too it fits really nice in the hand when you spray it Okay, so next up we have another fragrance from the House of Mugler. This is Angel, oh sorry, Mugler Alien Fusion. 
my favorite flanker of Alien for sure. Love the bottle, love the, the, the color. It's a very bright red and sticks out in my collection whenever I open my, my closet door where, my, where I store my perfumes. Anyways, Alien, Alien Fusion, it's a lot lighter than the original. The original does give me a headache, unfortunately, even though I think it smells beautiful. Um, this is just a lighter version of it. It's focusing on ginger and tuberose. I find this also to be sweeter than the original and just all around easier to wear. That's basically what it is with uh, the original um, angel DNA, and sorry, alien DNA in here, but they really toned it down so that maybe for some people that found the original alien, I keep on saying angel. The original alien difficult to wear. This one is a lot easier for sure for me anyways. So that is the next one. Alien fusion. Next up we have a fragrance from Dior. This is a flanker of hypnotic poison. Might be discontinued. I think it is. But I still wanted to mention it because I absolutely love it. I still think it's perfect for every day. So this is the Eau Sensuelle version. Absolutely gorgeous. I am a huge fan of the original Hypnotic Poison. But that can be cloying, I think, in warmer weather. It is a very thick almond vanilla marzipan scent. This one smells very similar to the original, but it doesn't have that thick marzipan character in it like it doesn't have like that cloying thing in it it's quite it's much much lighter they also added some beautiful florals in here i think there's ylang ylang and orange blossom which are floral notes that i absolutely love so i find this version to be just a more versatile easier to wear lighter version of the original hypnotic poison i mean they're both absolutely beautiful um, one of the best women's perfumes with designers for sure but this version is for me the easiest to wear so therefore it's a great everyday perfume okay we got two left to go this one is a fragrance from the house of guerlain and this is limon verde so this is quite a new fragrance in my collection and I absolutely love this, you guys. It is perfect for every day. It says, well, on my skin, it starts off as a, like a lime, almost fizzy, sparkling kind of 7-Up uh, drink with ice in it. But it does change a lot in the dry down of this fragrance. It starts uh, getting more thicker and there's like coconut in here, I believe. And there's also fig. And it also reminds me a little bit of coconut fizz. Um, which is a fragrance from this line that I enjoy a lot as well. So Limon Verde, it's green. It, transi it transitions quite a bit on my skin and I absolutely love it. And I guess it just keeps me on my toes and uh, I never get bored of it because of that reason. So Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde by the House of Guerlain. Okay, we have one more to go, you guys. This is a fragrance that my husband and I share and as you can see, the bottle here is <laughs> very used, but I love this fragrance so much. It's Tom Ford Neroli Portofino Eau de Parfum. Sorry, you can hear that bird out there. <laughs> okay, so this one is a very popular scent. It's an aquatic um, Neroli scent um, with some orange blossom, some lemon, I think, um, some musk. I'm not sure what the notes are, I'm just guessing, but it's just... A fantastic perfume. I mean, it's a dupe of 4711, um, the original of 4711, which I have, I really like too. But that one has very poor lasting power. This one lasts much longer. I know some people struggle with longevity with this one, um, but luckily for me, it's pretty. It lasts pretty well. So it's just a clean, musky, citrusy, floral neroli perfume that um, I just never ever get tired of so gone through quite a bit of this and we have like decans laying around the house that we like to use and um, it's just one that I'll probably be owning for the rest of my life so that was my video of 
10 fantastic everyday perfumes that I never get tired of. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to let me know in the comments your favorite everyday perfumes that you never get sick of, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about that. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.